Great question in terms of what do you do to enter residency or looking at, it's all about diversifying yourself. That's the biggest thing I can give you. Look at different programs, um, you know, whether it be getting other professional licensing um, opportunities. Um, that's a big one. You get your PALS, ACLS, BLS. Look for other certifications um, across the board, right? That allow you to um, become certified in another component. Because those things, for me, it was hyperbaric medicine, becoming a CHT, a DMT. I did that in, in, um, in medical school. When I went out into residency, that's about 90% of what we talked about. Remember, you went to medical school, you got decent enough grades, you passed your steps, you and thousands of other kids are doing the same thing, all right? Now you can nitpick me and, and say, oh well, you know, grades matter, and that's true, all right? But I'm also looking at you as telling you it's not always about that. It's about diversifying yourself. It's about creating a dynamic personal statement. Why did you want to become a doctor? And the answer is not just to help people, because I did too, so did everybody else. What is the reason, right? And I'm not saying you have to have some incredible story. We all have stories that are worth telling. You guys are superheroes. Find that story, find a way to connect, and, and that is gonna be the biggest way for you to diversify, is find ways to make your resume stand out. Because these guys, I'm part of a selection committee, right? We read thousands of them. Find a way to make your stand out that's different than everybody else's, and that will make you a cut above the rest. And it's not always about research, although it's important, and it's not always about step scores, again, important, it's not always about grades. It's about being the bigger picture. And the emotional intelligence, the thing that we're studying right now, and the things that everybody's looking at, is it's not just about, you know the best guys. I went to school here at this very uh, institution. There are some people I trust that I'd let cut me open right now. There's others I wouldn't, right? That goes across the board at any school you go to, the US or abroad. Right? The point is, how do you make yourself dynamic? How do you make yourself stand out? And the way you do that is community service, different ways you can tap into different uh, medical mission trips, um, different certification exams. These are the big ones. And then find a way to dy dynamically um, write a good personal statement and then get great letters of recommendation. Those go a long way and networking goes a long way.